when these teachers stray into the area of talking about this question of what reality is made of, I think they can often go wrong. And they have, there's the experience of the world being this unified unfolding. And from your side, as this little reflective surface that's reflecting the universe around it, all you ever know is consciousness. Everything comes to you through consciousness. You can never know the material world directly. It's always a kind of an abstraction. It's like this, you know your consciousness. I shouldn't say your consciousness, you know consciousness. You don't know the material world, but we can talk about it and I can assume you have a mind and we can we can abstract away and think that it exists. And even though I don't have direct experience of the material world, I think this game works so well that it suggests we're onto something, it suggests there is something out there rather than that I'm having some dream where for some reason everyone's agreeing with me on the measurements of my table. <laughs> um, although these people, you know, they, they wouldn't say that their position is equivalent to solipsism, the idea that consciousness is just inside my mind. They would say that something like the universe the world in between us that I'm calling the material world is some kind of greater consciousness, that the universe is some huge mind that we are part of. And I can't, I think at that point, you're, there's this deep, deep wisdom that comes with teaching people how to stop with the conceptualizing and fall back into being. But then when you come out of that experience and you try to make sense of the world, from that experience, you can come up with these with ideas. Now, non-duality is not about ideas, but the idea that the universe is made of consciousness, even the label consciousness, these are ideas and ideas can be right and wrong. Non-duality actually can't be wrong. True non-duality is, because it's not about ideas, because it is the fact of being, it's what being is. It can't be wrong. The insight you have during the non-dual experience, it's the one thing that can't be open to, to being incorrect. And I can't put into words the experience. And that's, this, that's of a piece with it not being able to be wrong. As soon as you try to put it into words, you'll now have ideas that can be wrong. And the idea that the universe is made of consciousness can be wrong, and I think is wrong. Um, and once it's understood how consciousness emerges from the physical world in a convincing way, I think a lot of people who hold that belief system will be forced to rethink it and to think, well, okay, I was actually wrong in that belief.